I am proud to be in a generation when where things are changing and there are more producers and uh, directors and writers that are women um, who write for women. Here we are at the Uni France headquarters in Cannes and the place is buzzing with energy. The annual Tend to Watch initiative shines a spotlight on young talents promoting the French cinema industry abroad. They've gathered here for an informal lunch to chat with journalists and professionals. One of them is David Chu, who happens to be a member of the jury for un certain regard category of the festival this year. His film, Return to Seoul, screened in the same category in 2022 and was well received by critics and the public alike. He told RFI this came as a welcome surprise. Not only that he went to many festivals, which was the case for my previous film, but this time he was released in many theat in many countries, theatrically and commercially, which it's an amazing uh, feeling actually to know that uh, people in many countries in the world can buy a ticket and decide to watch your film and have access to it. So I've been very lucky with that. Donc là, je suis très content. Uh, je suis très content d'être là. Je suis honoré uh, d'être uh, parmi. Uh, les Ten to Watch euh, d'Uni France. Both Bastien and Nadia won prizes for the most promising actors at the Caesar Awards earlier this year, the French equivalent of the Oscars. Nadia starred in Forever Young, known as Les Amandiers in French, directed by Valeria Bruna Tedeschi, screened at Cannes in 2022. While Bastien was in La Nuit du 12, or The Night of the Twelfth, by Dominic Moll, which also screened in Cannes last year. RFI had a chat with them about why cinema is so important as a cultural medium and why diversity is key. Well, we are very lucky because we have uh, many, many kind of cinema. There are many, many movies every year, so I know that we are very lucky. Cinema will, will never disappear. I mean, the sensation of being together and feeling everything huge because we are together. Even here in Cannes, it's even more, I mean, it's incredible. When you laugh a little bit, you actually laugh so much because you have everybody with you and the energy is amazing. The act of directing somehow, at least when you, when you put really your guts into it, is an act of faith as well, in which you put like three, four, five years, sometime more of your life, like obsessed with one project, one idea, and you lose yourself on the way. And that's a challenging part when you're going to doubt, you're going to be confused, you're going to feel that you lost yourself, but you still need to keep that faith. And eventually, and that's the reward answer to the question, sometime kind of by miracle, but I think it's not miracle, it's just the normal artistic process when people just follow their guts you're going to find back that thing that you were looking for, even though you need to lose yourself on the way. And that's the most rewarding thing for me when suddenly it's go full loop. The journey has been different and more surprising and unexpected compared to what you expected. Yeah, the journey was a learning experience to get there. Yeah. The cinema can also change people's minds. I mean, think about it. And that's why the cinema is so uh, important. Yeah.